this is our arrangement to find the focal length uh, using the combination method so this is our lamp source this is our object this is our lens holder currently it's holding one convex lens and this is our screen now we'll position these in such a way so that we can do the experiment so we have already made the arrangements uh, this is our lamp source which is at zero uh, centimeter and this is the object and that is the convex lens and that is the screen so we'll now focus the object on the screen this is the enlarged image of the object that has been focused. We'll take down the reading corresponding to uh, the position of the convex lens holder from the optical bench. And now we will again focus the uh, object, the diminished focus, diminished image we'll see. Yes. So that is that is the as you can see uh, the object has been focused here. This is the diminished image. We'll again take the reading for the convex lens holder. And now we will uh, combine both the lenses. Now we'll take a concave lens and combine it with the convex lens and repeat the experiment. As you can see, we have combined uh, the two lenses we have the convex lens over here and the concave lens just behind it okay now we'll just again do the experiment so this is the uh, we are getting the enlarged image it's focused take down the reading of the position of the lens holder from the optical bench and we'll again uh, focus the diminished image of the object so it has been focused this is the diminished image if you can see so this is the diminished image that has been focused Take down the reading uh, of the con combination lens holder. So uh, during the experiment, just note two things. That is the position of the screen, the position of the object and the position of the source will be fixed. Don't change this while you're doing the experiment uh, for one set of reading. So after you have completed this experiment for uh, the convex lens and the combination lens, you can change now change the position of the screen or the position of the object to take another set of reading. So this concludes our experiment. You have to do the calculations to find out the focal length. Thank you.